If you want chickens, but you do not have land or even a backyard for a chicken coop, then this video is for you. I'll show you how you can go about having chickens in a small space. In this basket, I have pine shavings, chick starter grower, a heat lamp. You can't see it, but I have a water bowl and a food bowl for the chicks. I am at Sutherland and Sutherland is a local store where I got all the supplies and even the chicks. When it comes to chick starter grower, their food, there's medicated and non-medicated. I went ahead and I chose the medicated to start off with. I didn't know whether it was best to do medicated or non-medicated, so I just chose medicated. But going forward, I will give the chicks the non-medicated version. The type of chicks that I have are Hawaiian Dots, and they were $4.49 a piece at Sutherland. Now, along with the supplies, a plastic bin is needed or just something to keep the chicks in where they can be warm. And it doesn't necessarily have to be plastic, but that's the type that I used. At Tractor Supply, they're, um, they do have poultry pens and the poultry pens are $489. And I just think it's a better option to just use something that you already have at home or use a plastic bin that you can get at Walmart or at the dollar store. I had a plastic bin at home already that I used. Now, in the bin, I went ahead and I put the pine shavings down. On top of that, I put in the water bowl and the food bowl and a heat lamp connected to the bin to keep the chicks warm. And that was it. It was pretty simple. The chicks loved it. When the heat lamp came on, that made them feel comfortable because at this age, they do need a heat lamp, especially if they're indoors and the AC is on, they need a heat lamp. A lot of people keep chicks in their garage or in, you know outside covered up. But actually, I didn't put a lid on top of these chicks until I noticed they began to fly up and sit on top of the water bowls. And then they would become more active. So that's when I decided to go ahead and put a top on. And the top that I used is this here um, hardware cloth. And it's also sold in the same place where I got the, my other supplies. Now, about two weeks later, it's not shown here, but I did add chick grits and I added a chick stick. The chick stick is just the treat that I put in for them. And the chick grit was put in so that they are able to digest their food better. At about three weeks, that's when I decided to start introducing the chicks outside. So I have a small, well, it's actually like medium large size dog cage. And the dog cage has material uh, wired onto it so that bugs and things wouldn't be able to get into the chicks. And also on top, I have that hardware cloth as well. So um, I started bringing the chicks outside to get fresh air and just to get acquainted with being outside. Toward the evening, it began to get a little bit more chilly outside. So that's when I turned the heat lamp on, even outside so the chicks would be warm. I was blessed with a really great person that really helped build the chicken coop. So during the time of introducing the chicks outside, that's when I decided to go ahead and get a chicken coop built. Now, I do recommend getting the chicken coop built before your chicks are home or like I did when they're still young. Go ahead and get it done. You don't want to just throw a coop together and rush it. You really want to take your time and consider a good design for it, something that'll be good for the chicks. That's something that you can have for a while. I was able to take the chicks out of my living room, out of that plastic bin where they were in, because I noticed that they were getting more active. So it only felt right to give them more space. 
I have a total of five and they're jumping all over one another. So now they are actually in the coop that was built. All right, so this is the back part. This part was built first as the frame. And then later this part was put up and it was put up by being attached to poles like that. And that's the inside. That's the little, um, that part was cut out. The roof is not done. I didn't think I needed a roof because it's, it's under the shed, but it's gonna have a roof. This is the latch. This is gonna be the back part. And that's the lock. And that's the front part. And it's gonna have a little board and a little way to close it. And I think that's it for now. This is the roof part. And this is the chicks and a little doll cage for now. I'm getting some fresh air for the first time. I am super excited because at the end of day five, I was able to put the chicks in the coop for the very first time. I have a heat lamp inside along with a few places where the chicks can stand on and, and it's amazing. So like I said, it's not complete. It's a few more things that need to be done, but I will come back with a more detailed video and more explanations on how everything was accomplished and just more detail. If you have any questions, leave the questions below. Also, if you have any tips or any recommendations, leave that below as well. So stay tuned for more, more details coming up. And I'll go ahead and put some details in the description for things that I mentioned in this video. I apologize if it wasn't too too detailed this time around but i will be back with more